It's time to optimize the environment. <laughs> yeah, so I've been working on optimizing my environment, making it a little warmer, now trying to make it a little cooler. Somebody, uh, someone who has heard me teach about optimizing my environment before, um, one of the examples I use is when I got rid of television out of my house. Yes, yeah. And then uh, she's like, wait a second, you watch, bat you watch sports at home? And I'm, she's like, how do you, you, you have TV now? You have TV? She's like, you're a hypocrite. <laughs> I'm like, yes, who isn't? <laughs> and, uh, and I said, uh, I optimized my environment by getting rid of TV 15 years ago. And I optimized my environment by adding TV back in five years ago. <laughs> so, and I'm in a different place in my life now than I was 15 years ago. 15, 16 years ago, whatever, I was like still, I found I was getting, distracting myself, watching TV wasn't working enough. And I wanted to, I was, really wanted to get my business growing more and I was not doing all the stuff I knew I needed to do. Now, that's not, that's just a non-issue. I, I'm, I, get this, I get stuff done. I do the stuff I need to do. I don't work a ton, but I get the stuff done that I need to get done. Being the distraction is not a problem for me right now. So we can optimize. So optimizing your environment, there's three major categories of optimizing your environment. They're all important, and I highly recommend you look at all of them for yourself to getting the results that you want and for your clients to help them get the results that they want. One category of optimizing your environment is your idea environment, your mental environment. What are, what are you paying attention to? Right? It's okay to watch TV, but be careful with it. Especially, it's one thing, like, one of the great things now is, like, one of the great things now is streaming television. One of the terrible things about now is streaming television. The great thing about not watching regular TV is you're not exposed to the commercials all the time. The commercials, the commercials, the commercials, trying to hook your attention to watch th some other TV show later, watch next week's episode, buy this thing. Buy, it's like whoo, so much, mo that just takes up so much space in our head. It's okay to binge watch Stranger Things or whatever show you might like, what, or whatever show you may like. Um, your idea environment, your mental environment is extremely powerful, it's extremely important. Are you listening to books on tape? Are you studying? online training programs? Are you attending seminars? Are you reading books? Are you reading self-help, personal growth, business growth? Are you helping? Are you reading books to, that are going to help you achieve whatever results you're looking for? Are you listening to books on audiobooks? Are you listening to online pro like what is what are you feeding your mind? Are you listening to great podcasts? You know? You're reading books, you could be reading uh, for entertainment. That's okay. It's totally okay to read for entertainment. Just know that that's, you know, it's okay to watch TV. It's okay to read books for entertainment. It's okay, like, entertainment is not a bad thing. Just make sure it's not only entertainment. If you read books, but you only read entertaining books, maybe you can work in a personal growth book or two. Or a lot. I, I 
pretty much only read personal growth books. Rarely ever read a book that's not a personal growth book. I love it. I love personal growth. It's my thing. It's my jam. So you want to put yourself, you want to create environments, focus on being deliberate about your idea environment. Put yourself into a program, or maybe you're going to attend lots of live events, perhaps. Right? I have online training programs. You could order one, or you could get all of our programs and be listening to and getting it all retraining your mind with all this kind of thinking. Build it in. Build in. Create a plan. If you're coaching someone, like, what? talk to them about their idea environment. What are you listening to right now? What are you exposing yourself to right now? How consistent, like, do you have a consistent idea environment that you're exposing yourself to? If not, how can we create one? What can you do to optimize your idea environment, your mental environment? How can you start feeding it the good stuff? It's a great question to ask your clients. You know, then they're going to ask you, tell me, like, hey, what are some books? I've had two people over in, in Bigs, and we send Bigs. When people sign up for our Bigs Mastermind, we send them a gift box that has a bunch of cool stuff in it, including some books that, all of my books that I've written is, and also some of the books we recommend. And then every now and again, I just think a book's amazing, and I'll just buy it and send it all, give it to all the bigs. Um, but I just had two people in the last couple days just say, oh, I want, I want, just give me the list of everything that you would recommend lis either listening to on an audio book or, or reading. I was like, all right, I'll work on that. Not, what's that? Well, and, and both, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's, it doesn't have to be. I, we could have the ones we're going to send you, and then we could have all the, you know, the ones that, you know. For people who, I mean, I don't know. Like, most people, first of all, like 80% of the population don't even read books at all. If you don't read books, you don't read books. But can you listen to books on tape or books on Audiobooks. Can you listen to audiobooks? It's on tape. So yeah, you could give your clients books. You could give their clients book recommendations, whatever. Those are things you can do for sure. If, and if you have clients sign up to work with you personally, if you have your own, if you've created audio programs or online training programs or whatever, those are all things you can give to them. Like that could just be a bonus. Like some people are like, well, you're working with me one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, yeah, well, you should buy this program I have. That's just, I don't work that way. If people are working with me, they just get everything. That's kind of, that's how it works. Uh, okay, so idea environment is number one, environment type. 